The National Bison Range in Montana was one of the first established national wildlife refuges. Covering 18,700 acres of land, the refuge holds a very large variety of animals. The National Bison Range um, was established just about 100 years ago in 1908 and it was set up at the time when we almost lost the bison. So besides learning the cautionary aspect of making sure you don't lose an animal or a species, it also celebrates a success story in the fact that we do still have bison today, they're doing well, and they're still around for people to see. Bison males may live up to 15 years and can reach a weight of 2,000 pounds while well, females may live for 20 years, but weigh half that of a male. Breeding season for bison is in July and August, and during this time, bison males start to get very aggressive. The National Bison Range is really a neat place because it varies uh, in its habitats. We do gain 2,000 feet from our lower elevation to our higher elevation and you get some changes in that. We are mostly Palouse Prairie, the grassland. It's a, a native prairie. It's the, one of the rarer prairies around and that does cover most of the refuge which is important because bison are grass eaters so it's good to have a lot of grass. people realize this is a special place to come to. Um, the National Bison Range has lots of things to offer people. Again, great wildlife viewing, um, a nice historical uh, aspect of conservation and wildlife protection. Um, and of course, we just really enjoy seeing visitors come to see us, so we always encourage people to come and enjoy themselves here. The National Wildlife Refuges around the country continue to be important for preserving wildlife and their diverse habitats. The National Bison Range has succeeded in preserving bison and many other species for 100 years and will continue to do so for generations to come.